Um, welcome to the live stream, whether you are joining live with me now or if you're catching us on the replay. In this video, we are going to talk and show you all about Canva mockups, Canva product mockups, whether that's Canva ebooks or Canva phone mockups. Canva have just released um, not too long ago the ability to do one click product mockups and I'm going to show you exactly how to do them in today's live stream. So I'm talking about how you get an image like this and turn it into something sexy and 3D looking like this and we can even go as far as you know getting it into in situ as we call it in the industry where we can get it into a beautiful beautiful um, layout like that. So let's get started. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sarah Nguyen and I help you build your business using video on social media with ease. Whether you are live with us now or if you're watching the replay, if you have any questions, please drop them in the chat or in the comments below and I will answer them at the end of the live stream. All of the resources that I mentioned will be in the description below. So super excited about Canva product mockups because Prior to them doing this integration, in order to do a mock-up, you kind of had to go through like a third-party pro provider in order to have beautiful mock-ups like you see here. But now, um, because they've integrated um, an app or a tool called Smart Mockups, we can now do it with one click. So let's go over to my computer now, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Now, before um, I go into the tutorial, I want to first explain a couple of things. So if you've created a design within Canva, right? So this is an example of, um, this is a document and this is an image that I've kind of put together. You'll see that if you click on the image here, it will say animate and you can't actually do what you need to do. So in order to create mockups, you need to download the actual thing that you want to create a mockup of if it is a design that's already in Canva. And you need to download that as a JPEG or as a PNG, so you'll need to download it PNG or JPEG file and upload that back into Canva in order to make this happen. So that's just one thing to um, note, because if you try to do it off a design, straight off a design, it's not going to work. So if we go to look at mockups, um, let's have a look at how it would work. So this is an example of just a flat image. This is pretty much that same one here. So I've downloaded it as a JPEG, I've uploaded it in my upload section here. You can see it here and I've placed it on the page. Now, in order for me to do the mock-up magic, I'm going to create an ebook out of this image. You want to click on the image that you want to create a mock-up of, and then we go to effects. Once we go to effects, you'll see here, and this is available on both free and paid plans for Canva, right? So you free users, you get it. Um, paid users, you get it as well. Um, if you go and get Canva Pro in my link in the description, you get Canva Pro for free for 45 days, where normally the trial is 30 days, 45 days on my, my link. So check that out. Um, so we click on the image, we go to effects, we go to smart mockups. If I click on see all and I scroll, you'll see that there is a whole section called books, right? And I can click on this layout and this turns it into with one click, um, this book layout, or I can click on another design, this one here, and this turns it into this ebook, but it's on the shelf. So it's in, in situ, as we say. Um, there's also this layout here. Now, how cool is that? One click, it's done it for me. Now let's just say that you've got an image that you've placed here and let's say I want to modify it, right? So I can click on the three dots that you see here. So there's these three dots here. If I click on them and I click on this drop down, I can change the sizing. Like look, if I scroll this up, it makes it larger. So if Canva have kind of placed your design within the mock-up and it's not quite sitting right, you can change the size of it to make it larger or smaller, or you can change the position of it. Like see if I'm going, I can change the vertical position and as I scroll, you can see it move up and down and same with the horizontal um, plane as well. So you're able to do the modifications there. So once you've got the layout that you like, um, all you would do is you would click on it. So let's go back to my book. I'm gonna go with this one. So I've clicked on it. 
that's a layout that I like. I'm happy with that. If I need changes, I'll click on the three dots. Otherwise I click apply and that's it. So that's my ebook mock-up, right? So how easy was that? We had a static image, which is now um, a 3D print. So let's have a look at a couple of other examples that you can do with Canva. So I really love, and I use all the time, um, this mock-up for um, putting images in an iPhone because when you do this, it helps draw attention to what's on the phone. Because what happens when you have a phone, you look at it, right? What happens when you see someone else's phone? You kind of, your eyes naturally glance at it. So this is an example of some mock-ups that I've done already. And let's show you how to do it, right? So I've got the image that I want to put in a phone mock-up. I click on it, I go to effects, I go to smart mock-ups, and now we're going to scroll to smartphones. As you can see here, they've got like a bunch of, um, smartphones that are already isolated on a transparent background or they've got them in situ. So you simply choose whichever one you want, right? And we're gonna let it do its thing here and it puts me in situ there. Once again, if I click on it, let's just say I want to um, customize the framing of it. I can make myself larger so that I feel more of it or I can scroll back um, if I want, you know, to change the sizing of it. Um, and then I click apply. So when I'm happy with it and it's easy as that to create a phone mock-up, how easy is that? And how great is that? And you now have an image that you can use on social media. You can use on your YouTube thumbnails. I do this treatment on my YouTube thumbnails all the time. And it's a nice little way of kind of adding an image and having it a little bit different and adding a bit of texture to the actual image. So that's my little hack there. Now let's have a look at the next one, which is one of my favorite ones. And it's the ability to create a mock-up of um, a poster or a canvas, like a framed poster or a canvas. Now, if you have a look here, this is the static image that we had. And this is an example of, you know, what it looks like as one of the frame posters. And it's really nice. It's just this really nice treatment. If you're selling um, digital downloads or if you're selling digital prints on Etsy, this is a great way of getting your mockups done without needing to use Photoshop or buying templates. It's all included within Canva, even in the free Canva. So I really like this option. So let's have a look at how you would do this. So this is the frame mockups. Let's go here and I click on it. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go to smart mockups and then I'm going to, once it scrolls, go down to um, frames and posters, right? And I've got so many options here. I'm going to choose this one here because I quite like the look of it and just let Canva do its thing. And like that, I've got this poster mockup and it's got the clips on the, you know, the hanging thing here or alternatively if I'm like mm, I don't quite like that I can switch it to something else right I can switch it to this alternative here like the frame that you saw before and it puts it on the wall there or just play around with the one that you like oh what's happened there that didn't quite work or we'll choose one that works there you go. And like that, you've got a frame mock-up. So you can see on the right-hand side, this is the static image. And on the left-hand side, this is an image of the 3D mock-up of the image in a canvas. So then I click apply um, and that's done. Now, the next one is one of my favorite ones because it, particularly if you're a course creator, particularly if you do presentations, putting things in computers, putting things in laptops, super sexy, makes it like increases the value of it exponentially and is incredibly easy to do within Canva. So let's go over to this example here. I've got my image. That's a static image. I go to effects to do the mock-up. Then I'm going to go to smart mock-ups and I'm going to click on see all. Then we're going to go down to computers. And as you can see here, there's a bunch of laptops. I've got, um, you know, an iMac here and other computer options here. So you really just choose the one that um, you like. So I'm gonna choose this desktop one here. Let Canva do its thing. Ta-da, how easy is that? Um, I use this all the time for creating images of my courses, creating images of presentations that I'm going to do because it kind of adds that dimension to it where it's like, okay, they can see what they're going to see, right? They can see the course is going to be on a computer, right? Or they can see the course um, on a laptop. They can visualize what the, what the course will actually look like. So this is um, really great. Anyway, so let's go to the next one. So one of the other things that you can do with Canva is t-shirt mockups. If you're selling 
print on demand t-shirts on Etsy. If you're selling any print on demand t-shirts, having mock-ups, as you know, is a pain in the butt. Um, but Canva make it really easy. So here is um, a graphic image that I have. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go to smart mockups. Doo -doo -doo. And I'm going to scroll down to the clothing section. So not only do you have t-shirts to do mock-ups of, but you've also got some hoodies as well, um, which, you know, if you're depending on what you need, it can be a great little effect here. So I'm going to choose this sweatshirt here. And Canva's going to place my design on the girl like that. So how easy is that? If, and if I kind of want to modify the design here, I just click on the three dots. I go to custom. And this is where, once again, like the other designs, I can change the size. So at the moment, it's filled the whole sweatshirt. If I want it to feel, you know, be a little bit smaller or I want it to be just the square, I can just modify it um, using this size option here. Um, and I can you know, play around with the horizontal and vertical plane if that's what I actually want. So I'm going to click apply and that's how you do t-shirt mock-ups. Now we're almost done. The next one is mug mock-ups. I love mugs, love coffee, love mugs. And mugs is another great one that they offer. So you click on your design, you go to effects in smart mock-ups, you're looking for, guess what it is? We're looking for mugs. So I'm going to go down to the mug section which is just about here they've got all these mugs right they've got like your ceramic mugs as well as the what what i can't remember what material it is i want to say metal but i think that's not the correct word anyway they've got different types of mugs and you click on the design that you want enamel that's what it is so they've got enamel and they've got ceramic mugs and then you've got your design within a mug or you can just play around to find the one that you actually like one click like i'm literally doing one click and it's putting my mug in the actual design. So how cool is that? So I'm gonna go with, oh, see this one, I am like, okay, I like the look of this one, but I wanna modify it a little bit because it's a little bit stretched. So I'm gonna click on the three dots. I'm going to go to custom. I think I wanna make, make it a little bit smaller and see what it looks like then. There you go. So I can have it like that. Then I'm gonna apply and that's my mock-up. Now this is, are we there? This is the last one. The last one that you can do with Canva, which covers all of their current mockups that you can do is cards, right? So I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go to smart mockups. And then I'm going to go down to the card section. So they've got um, business cards. They've got greeting cards. Um, and those are the only two that they have. So they've got business cards and greeting cards. And with this, you can kind of just populate the card design here. So here's what it looks like within like the greeting card where someone's holding it. Otherwise there's this other layout here. And it looks like that. So I'm like, okay, this is cool, but it's kind of cut her head a little bit. So I'm going to click on the three dots. I'm going to go to custom and then I'm going to make that a little bit smaller, right? And just play around with the layout a little bit. So all of this is within Canva. You don't need, uh, you don't need to upload anything. You don't need to, um, you know, get these templates anywhere, they're already within Canva. So how cool is that? Look at all the mock-ups that we're able to do with one click, like so easy. And like, I like the, the fact that it looks like you put a lot of effort into doing this, um, but you didn't, you really just opened up Canva and clicked a button and then that gave you the beautiful design. So um, yeah, that basically wraps up today's tutorial. It was always meant to be a short and sharp one because I just wanted to show you this new feature. A lot of people don't know that it's there, um, but it's definitely there and it's for free and for paid users as well, where you can now create these beautiful mock-ups to add to your social media graphics, add to your thumbnails, and that's how you use it. So hopefully you found this video useful. I'm just gonna jump over to the comments to see Hey, Prairie Live. Hello from Canada. Great to have you here. Um, she says, thank you so much. I appreciate this so much. Thank you for sharing. You are very welcome. You're very welcome. I love showing people features and Canva are constantly adding features to their product suite. So many features that majority of people aren't aware of probably, I would even say over 50% of the features that they have. So particularly if you're using the pro version, um, you know, 
or even in the free version with this one. It's great to be able to use what you've got access to. So trying to make the most, help you make the most of your Canva Pro version or Canva version, whichever one you're using. So that essentially wraps up today's tutorial. Let me just go over here. Now, if you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, where I do lots of tutorials to help you grow your business using video on social media with ease. Um, make sure you also grab a copy of my thriving YouTube creative blueprint, where it's my framework to help you go from stuck and overwhelmed to being a confident, profitable, and thriving creator on YouTube. So the blueprint is free and it's in, the link is in the description for you to check it out. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you on the next live stream. Bye for now.